Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were making great time getting through the rest of World 3. In the past hour, we've already gone through the remaining four levels. All that leaves are some challenge stages, some puzzles to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Before I do though, I noticed that there was something up here. How to get up there, that is the question. Oh, like that. Can we get all the way up here? Huh. Are we supposed to be able to get up here? Oh, yes, we are, because there's invisible coins here. So what do you think this was? Whatever it was, it's, it was probably cute. Oh, hey, there's another coin. Kind of a neat view from up here. Okay, let's end it. So let's go ahead and try to find those challenge levels. We haven't done this one yet. You think any of these Yeti would be interested in union work? It ain't violent, they pay as good, and we will give them all the meditation breaks they need. Okay, so how difficult and or easy is this going to be? Starting out... I'm not sure... Maybe I'm overthinking it. There's a start over thing if I need it. I haven't needed it so far. I feel like it's not going to be as simple as placing that there. I feel like there's a lot more to it. Okay, this is the first one where I've actually needed to really think about what I'm doing here. Do I want to put that that way, or... Maybe I want to start bringing these over. Uh, honestly, I can't really bring them over very much. Because once that one is down there, I can't move these down there because they're just going to keep on going in whatever direction they feel like. Okay, let's go ahead and actually take advantage of this start over thing. Oh, and it has to re reload the whole level? It doesn't just move them into position? Yeah, it actually just starts the entire thing over. Huh. Okay, so... If I... I suppose the first thing I should figure out is how do I make it so that anything stops in the middle? That is a good question. How do I get something to stop in the middle? I assume the skip thing doesn't bring me to the end of the level, but instead takes me out of it. So that's not gonna be it.
not what I wanted to do. That is... Okay, I have an idea. Let's, let's start this over again, because I'm noticing something that I could try. So in a way, let's start by leaving that one there. Knock that down. Oh my goodness! It's so simple! It's not so simple. Yeah, yes, it is simple. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I have this. I know how to finish this. That's how you do it. I feel good about that one. You must have found your Zen topside, kid. You're crushing it. It's almost time to throw back a couple of cups of watermelon juice. Apparently... Restful Retreat specializes in watermelon juice. So, how are the other ones going to compare to that one? Because the first one and the second one I tried in this world were pretty easy. That one was by far the most difficult puzzle so far. That might be somewhat intended to be the last one of the level. So the others will probably be easy. Well, let's find out. I figured I'd only make a couple of these puzzles, but once I got started, I couldn't stop. It gets in your blood, you know what I was insane? Okay, no golem. Oh wait, no, there's one golem. There's one golem. Oh, this is going to be difficult as well. I'm not immediately seeing it like I've seen some others. The golem is definitely going to be key. I think first thing we want to do Actually, this one might not be difficult at all Because that's already that taken care of So now we just need to move these onward to where we're going next and what we're going next is to simply do that, and then... Uh... Okay. I don't know. No, this one's not so simple. Because, like, I can get it set up to where I can put that there, but... Okay, no problem. I can handle this. I managed to finish that other one. I can totally finish this one. So I had... Mostly the idea correct. So this one possibly needs to be sitting in there in order to finish, or maybe it needs to be sitting in there to finish. 
let's try figuring it out from that way. Like, what happens if we have that sitting in there? Well, I don't think that'll be helpful too much. Because, sure, we could have that there, but then how do we go from there? Maybe work our way backwards? That might be it. That might be it. Let's bring you down this way. And then... That gets that one into place. And then... That one's into place, and the rest... Should be simple in theory? Yes. I got it now. Now this was the challenge that I was waiting for with these. I mean, I definitely feel good I was able to solve so of them so so many of them so easily, but seeing a challenge come along is definitely a good thing. Looks like once you got started solving them, you couldn't stop neither. You're a fox after my own heart, Lucky Swifttail. I love that name, by the way. Lucky Swifttail. So that should leave one more of these puzzle levels, I think. It's probably that one. Lady Emma is really popular. I don't know how to use Finstagram, but I liked one of her posts and she gave me a heart back. I feel notice, I think he said there. And it kind of reminded me, it is kind of nice whenever like a famous YouTuber, or at least a popular YouTuber, notices you. It would be nice if that kind of carried further, like, that person noticed me, and so other people notice me, and my subscription count skyrockets. Sadly, that is not how that works. Anyway, I'm gonna make Sky Castle bigger and better than ever. But first, help me out and solve this puzzle. I gotta know I still got the goods. Okay, this one is closer to the start of the area, so I imagine that this one is going to be simpler. Somehow. Now start by knocking this... here. I don't know if that actually is to my benefit. No, nope, this one ain't gonna be that simple, actually. Because I am not entirely seeing what it is I need to do. It's not an immediate thing. It's 
So maybe I should reconsider this current setup. Although, I can at the very least get... This one in position. And from there... No? Okay, I'm able to get two of them into position pretty easily. The catch is I needed to have this guy also down there. And I'm kind of not doing that. Oh, wait! I actually got it! Hold on, get over there. Thank you. Yay! You the fox, Lucky! Yeah, haha. <laughs> so that is going to be all the clover pages here. Which means we should be unlocking another costume now. If the Yetis haven't cleared their minds too much with that Zen stuff, I wonder if they'd be interested in thinking through some puzzles. Okay, what you got? Hey, you got every page in this world. I've been working on something special for you, a souvenir of sorts. Drop my way my shop and check it out. I'm betting that it is a General Buttons costume. Sometimes you just need to change to clear your mind, starting with a new look. What we got? Yep. So we got the Buttons Bicorn and Buttons Regimented Regalia. Not a bad outfit. I don't see myself wearing it for too long. Definitely gonna replace it as soon as we get another costume. Uh, formal wear is not my thing. But we are off to war, so it is kind of appropriate. Let's take care of... Lieutenant Fluff and Stuff and General Buttons. And we already know that there's gonna be cannons involved. Possibly fighting them on their airship. Lucky! I'm so glad I found you! It looks like General Buttons and Lieutenant Fluff and Stuff are up to no good. No good at all. They've commandeered an island past the great tar pits and are stealing the Yeti supply of delicious holy watermelons. It's not looking good. Without those watermelons, hundreds will suffer, sending the Yetis into existence, existential crisis. We have to stop them! I'm serious. Like, all caps serious. Jinx is a really powerful sorcerer. He can turn things invisible. He used to play pranks on other guardians by hiding their coins and stuff. Actually, some of them might still be out there. Oh. Well, that's kind of interesting when we got an explanation for the invisible-ish coins. Ha. Huh. Ha! 
Ha ha! While the Yetis are currently engaged in the strange morning ritual of yoga, the watermelons are unguarded and ripe for the taking. Fools! Once we cut the enemy off from their supply, the resistance will end and restful retreat will be ours! This will be the perfect staging ground for our, our conquest of the book. The time for mercy is past. We shall vanquish this land and take both the pages and their aromatherapy secrets by force. What? Aromatherapy? Is that what this book is about? That would be kind of funny. Lieutenant Fluff and Stuff, to battle! Let's do this. Okay, boss time. Oh, I see where this is going. Do you need to land on this? Or did I just need to dodge you a few times and then... Wait, what's next? Oh, more of this. Okay. Uh... No digging under the fireballs. Why are they green? Are they snot balls? All the more reason not to be hit by them. No, 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 no! No! Don't, don't blow up on the things. Oh, I thought that that was going to get rid of the platforms. Okay, there's definitely going to be more to this fight. No, him landing on stuff does not result in things breaking. I feel like that's going to happen at some point, though. There's going to be less platform to run around on at some point. Where does Buttons jump off to? Gosh! This is spelling something. S-M-E-L... Hey! I don't stink, I make other people stink. Oh, that landed not as far as I thought it would. Okay, we only need to hop or knock back one of those then. So I did not fail by missing two of them before. Oh, well, the... Right. I need to pay attention to you. Ow. Well, you, you damaged me. Okay, what are we going to deal with this time? Oh... Wow, up oh, and there it was. Okay, I might lose. Oh no, oh no, oh dear. Ugh. There, that's three hits. Oh, those really are tar pits. Oh, how unfortunate for them. <laughs> oh, there they are! You look good in black. Thanks for all your help, brother. We're making you an honorary yeti. Neat. We'll deal with General Buttons and Lieutenant Fluff and stuff. Well, you already got the tar. How about some feathers? Head on over to the farm. There's plenty of chickens there. Through peaceful rehabilitation. And feathers? If I learned anything from the wrestling yetis, Buttons and Fluffy will have to learn to love themselves if they hope to be true tag team champs. Maybe I can apply some yeti philosophies to my life. 
You learned a lot in your time with us, brother, which gets me to thinking. Our love for wrestling once took us down the dark path. Real combat causes real injuries. And also, tar in your fur. Ow. But what if we could make it something fun again without the senseless violence, brothers? What if we could share our joy of wrestling with fans in a safe way? Something like sports. Entertainment? Exactly, Tiny Rock! Performance wrestling! Pretend violence expressed peacefully! Uh, I get it. Harmonious Haymakers! Yeah! Okay, I think it's time to go. I knew it! This picture is different every time! I knew she was not wearing that hat before! Well, you could st you start getting ready. I'll be heading into a break soon enough for one more episode. Talking to Maddie, getting ready for his stream. Oh, Lady Miyama Late is a villain. I like your tail. Okay, so... Um... About that episode break. We're, we're gonna be right back. And when we come back, Lady Miyama Late. Mm. 